What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy October Medical Ultrasound Awareness Month. Woo! I'm over here 30 minutes away from my house at a outpatient clinic because we have some big news. Drum roll, babe. I got the job offer from that interview that I went to and told you guys about. Woo! I wanted to let you guys know kind of what the process is to getting a new job. We are here to get a TB test done. You have the best drum rolls. Thank you. <laughs> I went to drum roll school back in 1998. Wow, when you were five years old. <laughs> Let's go. I'll see you in a little bit. Five minutes later, because that's how long it took. It took longer to wait for the nurse. Drum roll. <laughs> Thanks for the drum roll, babe. We got our TV skin test. Ah. It was like a quick pinch and a burn. And then I have to return to this location again next week for them to check the skin again. So, yeah. I did the interview. After the interview, I did a drug test. After the drug test, they did a background check, then I scheduled this TB appointment, and yeah, we're in the process. It's about a week and a half now, and because we have to wait for the TB test result next Monday, it'll be like a total of two, two and a half weeks until I can actually start working and training in the facility. So yeah, so excited. We're gonna go eat breakfast. We don't know yet, but well, we're gonna take you guys along with us and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about how that drug test went, what you will expect and how weird it is. All right, let's go. I'm hungry. All right, uh... All right you guys, we made it to Dirty Fork. Sounds dirty. Four stars, 600 something reviews. Never been here before, first timers. Hawaiian fusion? Mm -hmm. Breakfast lunch. Let's go. diagnostic center which will take my urine and run a test and so I guess it took like two days uh, but when I went in they just took my name my license and made me sign a bunch of things they're like hey make sure you grab this urine cup make sure it's not tampered with showing you that you just opened it there's a lot of confidentiality things you have to sign then they make you lock all your belongings in a lockbox. You go in there, you have like four minutes to pee. You cannot flush the toilet and you cannot run the sink. If they hear you flush the toilet or run the sink, you fail that drug test right away. So. Did you wash your hands? So I didn't wash my hands after I peed in the cup. But like, that's what I thought. I was like, well, this is weird. But they're waiting out front of the door for you. And you open that door and hand them, well, you pour your urine. <laughs> You pour your urine into this like little vial thing and then they seal it. Then she's like, okay, go wash your hands now. And I'm like, yes. So I sat there and washed my hands for a good long minute. Then you go back into the room, you sign more paperwork, and then they tell you, okay, you're good to go. Nothing else you need to do. And that process took me about 30 minutes. Drug testing is interesting. <laughs> I don't do drugs, guys, so be good on that. You guys, what? Look at this. Nutella strawberry crepes, which look amazing by the way. Vegas avocado toast. Holy moly, look at that. Some yogurt and eggies. This though. North Shore, which is uh, North rice, Shore. garlic butter, shrimp, macaroni salad, pineapple. And uh, the ever so famous Loco Moco. With steak. Wow, feast, feast time. This is what breakfast is like with us. <laughs> we finished everything, all four plates, and it was so delicious. Dirty Fork in Las Vegas. What'd you think, babe? Uh, really good. I uh, enjoyed all the f dishes that we got. Yeah, that pineapple thing though, that's pretty cool and unique. But if you're ever in town, try Dirty Fork. It's pretty tasty, pretty tasty. 
we're heading home now, so I'll tell you guys the rest of the interview process, the background check, and the next steps. So yeah, let's get home. All right, you guys, we are back home, and I'm going to finish up this video with telling you about the other processes that I had to go through. The background check that the company had put me through just basically asked me some questions like my name, social security, they asked me where I lived in the last 10 years, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They do everything on their end, so you just fill out a form. And then the TV process, that was today. If you've never done it before, you get a little injection and then they have you come back at another time to read your skin to see if you had any reaction to that injection and once that is cleared they said that i was good to go as far as the interview process went you know the interview was pretty simple i've been through plenty of interviews in my life and when you are really enjoying your job and you really want to get that job you can see it in the energy that you're giving off when you do an interview so i will be doing a video which is going to be about interviews in general but i just spoke with the manager of the ultrasound department and she was super sweet she asked me what my experiences were and i've worked in outpatient places before so this wouldn't be my first rodeo but this one is a very big company so it's gonna give me a lot more experience in ultrasound and I'm just so excited for everything to start I'm so excited and happy to take you guys on this journey with me of becoming a new hire so hopefully you guys can see what it's like to get a new job. There are a lot of places hiring in the city right now, so if you are looking for a job, definitely look around here in Vegas and get started somewhere. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us today on our day off, for getting my TB test. I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below. October is a really important month for us medical sonographers, so definitely do your research and check out a ton of the other ultrasound videos on YouTube. One of the girls that I love so much is Tamika. She is I've Got This Times 2. If you head over to her channel, which I'm gonna link in the description box below, she is such an amazing person and she has been in this field for quite some time now so if you have any other questions or want to know things from her point of view definitely hit her up check out her channel she's so close to 1000 subscribers so i'm definitely proud of her for everything that she's been going through and we got to support one another if you guys support me i'll definitely support you guys back we are here to support and grow together not bring people down but to bring them up be kind to one another stay positive stay healthy and we'll see you guys on the next video bye guys